going up there. Um, now, a lot of folks, you know, that, that, that catch this content know kind of where I stand um, as, as a practicing heathen. Uh, I, I wouldn't consider myself, you know, hardcore to the bone, to the teeth, whatever, reconstructionist. Um, but I do observe uh, the holy tides of the Germanic pre-Christian people um, based on historical uh, evidence and, and source material that that proves when the, the Germanic peoples would have observed their holy days. So I don't particularly personally um, hold any observances on solstices or equinoxes. I do recognize that, you know, especially in the, 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 the place of the world that I am in, um, they are significant, uh, you know, celestial happenings when, you know, obviously on the on the equinoxes, you know, time of day and time of night are equal, you know, so we have the same amount of daylight as we do uh, darkness. And, uh, you know, for a lot of folks that are into the, the pagan way or a pagan way, you know, nature-based religions have uh, a pretty keen observance on that event, you know, when the days and nights are of equal length. And uh, so, but, but being invited up to this, uh, this, this, you know, the elders uh, property was uh, an honor, you know, and a privilege because they are invite only uh, sorts of things. So when they want and invite people to come, uh, taking advantage of those things are, uh, I you know, I look forward to that because I like to learn and I like to see what other people are doing, what other people have done uh, over the years. Um, and what's really, you know, like I say, what's really interesting is, is this elder and his wife, you know, they, they've been doing this thing. They've been doing paganism. They've been doing what they do for, you know, longer than I've been alive. And uh, they have a lot of knowledge and they have a lot of experience. Um, so getting a chance to be part of a Wiccan ceremony, a, a Wiccan, you know, ritual, mo you know, a ritual modeled after a Wiccan way of doing things uh, was, was new to me. I hadn't ever... Believe it or not, I had not ever uh, been at a proper uh, Wiccan ritual. So uh, what was really cool is, you know, we, we got up there um, Friday night and we camped overnight then. We, and then we stayed over Saturday and left Sunday afternoon. So we camped a total of two nights and had, you know, two and a half days worth of things that we were, we were given to do. And there was... Um, it was, what was really cool about being there was getting the chance to, first of all, meet new people, be reintroduced to folks that we have already known. Um, and then in the interim, you know, share in something very special, which again, is being an invite only thing to, to come and partake of this ceremony, uh, which was held on Sunday morning. So everything that we did Friday night, Saturday, and then into Sunday uh, was kind of preparing for that. There were a lot of classes uh, being held uh, to educate those folks of us who have never you know, really known about Wicca, what the history of it was. And, it, and I'm, not, I'm not an expert on it, but I learned a lot about, you know, there's different ways of, of practicing Wicca. You know, there's, there's ancient ways and there's kind of old school ways, which are not quite as old as the ancient ways, but they're not as new as the modern, modern way. And, uh, you know, got to, got to hear a lot about the history of you know where it was originated, where the different styles kind of things came from, how it got here to the United States, some of the key influencers or people, um, you know, over the last you know 50, 60 years or more that that helped shape what it is today and how it's evolved and and whatnot. Uh, there was a class on astrology, uh, which I am not at all a uh, <laughs> uh, a student of. So so getting to hear about you know the astrological signs, the houses, how they move, um, come to find out there's going to be a very uh, very special and very unique thing that's happening very soon in our lifetime now, uh, where all of the planets move through the zodiac uh, within our lifetime. Some of the planets don't do that, you know, but once every several hundred years, uh, or a couple hundred years even. Um, some of them do things pretty frequently or pretty regularly, but there are other planets that don't do these things that we that we were being taught about and learned about over the weekend. Um, but every couple hundred years, and just the 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 fact of it all happening in our lifetime is 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 quite astonishing. 
you know. So uh, getting a chance to learn about all that from people who've been students of, of astrology and that, and that look to the celestial bodies and, and the stars and the planets and everything um, to help with their spirituality and, and the way that they view the world um, and kind of being brought into that was was fascinating. 